what's going on guys so um as you can see our camera angle is a little different today um i'm going to be doing a video today um and this is kind of to help all of you um so this video today i'm going to be doing is going to be showing off kind of my streaming setup um and this is basically what to do to get started in video blogging and streaming um so i'm going to show off the whole setup that i have here and what i do um, and why and how and it just explain everything from top to bottom um, as far as you know video blogging and everything else so as you can see right here I'm using this little guy here because this is going to be my behind the scenes camera to show off the rest of the equipment so that's you know the main camera there's the secondary camera up there there's the mixer there's the computer so um, <clears throat> I have all my um, lighting turned off right now um, because I, I if I have it turned on you won't be able to see this stuff so I'm going to show you guys all um, the lighting and the, the the main cameras and stuff first so we're going to start into that so um, let's start with lighting so um, with blogging and everything else the biggest thing is see as you see I got the light behind me and it just it's really hard so lighting makes a huge difference as you can tell um, so, um, anybody who watches the regular movie idiot stuff, um, you'll know that, you know, I, I have a much better camera and, and a lot of good lighting. Um, lighting is key. So the camera you're seeing right now is actually an old camera, probably like 10 years old. It's a Logitech. Um, I, I think it's like a, hold on, let me see. Uh, well, it's a 720p Logitech. Um, I think it's like a two something. Hold on. Let me, see. Oh, I can tell you exactly the model number really quick. Um, it is a Logitech C270. This thing is like 10 years old. I've had this thing for a long time. Um, but this is going to be my little behind the scenes cam that I'm going to use to show you guys the rest of the stuff. Um, but even with a, you know, 720p camera that runs, I think 30 frames per second. Um, even with that, um, it still gets a decent picture if you have proper lighting, which, you know, right now I have uh, a light behind me um, that's what they call a hair light. Um, so let me show you guys here. Try to cover this thing a little bit so you can see here. Hold on. This is really tough to do. Okay, so... It's a panel light. It, actually, it looks like this because <laughs> I have one in front here. Um, but it's on a pole. So you can see uh, the pole here um, down here on the floor. And it goes up and it's just on a pole. And you get to the panel light. It's pretty bright, as you can tell. Um, so you always um, want to have a light behind you. They call that a hair light. Um, and it, it, what it does is it um, gives you kind of a, a counter um, lighting balance to your front light so it actually lights the top of your head and gives you a better depth of field on your camera and whatnot so that's what a hair light does um and again i just have the one light on right now um in my little space here um and as you can see again lighting is is great you know like it, it really pops the more lights i turn on you guys will see later down the road the better that you'll be able to see all this stuff so i'm going to start with uh, my front lighting here so as I said, I had um, I have one of those panel lights right over here to my left. Um, and then I have just a basic work light here. That's a 65 watt uh, LED bulb. Um, that's a cool light. I'm actually going to switch that to a warm light bulb. But um, yeah, it's just a 65 watt LED bulb. And then this is just a LED lamp that I got from Walmart. Really easy enough. And it just comes over here. That lights my right side. So there's one, two three face lights again um you know you want lighting in all different sides of you to light all the different parts of your face and whatnot and when you get into you know higher end cameras um you're going to need more lighting and better lighting to uh, maximize what those cameras can do um so speaking of cameras we might as well get into that right away um i use um for my main camera this guy right here this is a sony a5100 um these are very popular very very popular right now for uh streaming um and if you can see here on the side it's got hdmi out it has clean hdmi so clean hdmi out that goes to this guy down here 
what you're looking at is a cam link. Um, it's like a video card. Um, it's a cam link um, capture card. So the HDMI comes down there. It goes into the cam link capture card. As you can see, it's just a little thing. Um, plugs right into it. And that works then with the computer software, which is OBS. Um, and, and that's right here. Let's see if I can get a kind of wide angle shot here of OBS as it's working. Um, so I'm using OBS. Um, and again, the, the cam link or the HDMI, a mini HDMI, I got a converter that goes to regular HDMI. And then that goes into the cam link, which then talks to OBS and OBS then processes the camera. So right now, um, the main camera of the Sony A5100, because I don't have my front lights on, looks pretty dark. Um, I also don't have it zoomed in because I'm going to show you guys the whole setup that I have here um, and whatnot. So, but as you can see, there's a light shining at it, first of all, and it's behind me. So front lighting is very key. Backlighting is very key. Now this, this light that you see up here, that's the hair light. Normally that's taller. So I have that, um, I have a pole that extends up. Um, but for right now, I'm using that light to kind of show off all the equipment and whatnot. So um, that's why it looks as it is. Um, the next camera that I have, um, I call it the top view. So, um, and that's up here. And that's this guy. And this is a Logitech. And I'll get you the, I'll actually turn that on so you guys can see here, top view. Again, can't see much because there's no lighting on me right now from the top view. Um, that camera is a Logitech 615. Um, so you can probably get um, a, an even better one. Um, this one is 1080p, 60 frames per second. Um, but um, also right now they have um, a Logitech 920, which is um, a more popular camera right now. Um, and I, I don't think it even costs that much more, but I, again, this is a camera, the, the six, uh, six, what was it? 610 again. Um, anyway, that camera I had already. So, um, you know, I just, I went with it because I already had it. So, um, and again, it, it's functional. Um, the big thing when you're first starting out on video blogging and streaming is, again, you can use these cameras that, you know, may not be great to start with. Um, just get some good lighting on yourself and, and you'll see the difference right there. So now that I've showed you the cameras, um, and the lighting, I'm going to show you guys. So I have a dual monitor set up. So this one right here, um, is my main monitor. That's what I have OBS on. Um, and then I have one to the left of it mounted up here. Let's see if I can get it without the glare. It's hard because the, here, I'll turn this a little bit even then it's still anyway the second monitor there um what i do with the second monitor um is um f when i do the movie idiot show i have a lot of the main topics so i do a screen capture of um google chrome on there um so obs will do a screen capture of that i'll have google chrome on the second monitor over here and then the obs controls on the main one here so that's how that's done um and again it, you know OBS Streamlabs, I'll get into all of that. Um, it's a free software, um, but then there's, you know, you can get premium and it can do some more stuff. Um, but it works with all this equipment. It works very well. Um, so um, audio. Um, the biggest thing with streaming and video blogging, uh, let's see, I was trying to, so the behind the scenes cam when you're holding it is kind of difficult to work with here. Um, so the biggest thing with streaming and video blogging um, you want more than even video is audio. Um, you want to have good sound. That's I, I think it's even more important than the video. And a lot of YouTubers would agree with that. Um, the big thing, you want to have a nice, good, clean sound. Um, so what I use is I have this. Um, now, I, um, you know, did music and whatnot. I did live performance and I was, you know, doing a little recording, um, which I've now converted this mixer. This is a Mackie Pro FX 12. It's a USB out. It's only USB 2.0. This thing is over 10 years old, but it works great. Um, but it's USB out, so it goes right into the computer then. Um, and it's got all the settings here. I use this channel right here. There's the XLR that goes to this microphone right here so 
see if I can get a wider. There, there we go. So there's the mic right there. That's a, um, a Shure PG27 condenser microphone. Um, Shures are excellent mics. Um, definitely recommend. There are others you can get for sure. Again, this mic probably pushing like, you know, I don't even know, maybe eight years old. Um, but it works great. Sounds good. Um, and again, condenser microphone. That's what you're looking for. You want um, a nice, good, clean sound. Um, I position this mic in a way. Uh, let me see here. So when I, I'll show you guys in a little bit when, once I get the main cameras up. I'm, I'm going to turn on the lights in just a second and start using those. But um, I position it in a way. Now I'm talking directly into it now. But normally when I do the show, I'm more turned like this see if I can I'm more turned like that so then it picks up my voice but you're not getting a lot of the pop so anytime I use a now if the mic's directly at me those are even louder so you don't want that so you want to have kind of an indirect um, thing these mics are omnidirectional so that means they can pick up sound from multi directions um, so um, a very good microphone um, and then um, I also have this computer down here this MacBook Pro um, that guy um, I use for um, when I have guests, so the Zoom calls and whatnot. Um, so when I do like the Mandalorian specials that I've been doing and I have Jake on, I patch him in through the MacBook Pro and then I run HDMI out from the side here. You can't see it really well. Um, and then that goes into the cam link, which again, I showed you guys that earlier. But let me turn this back so we can get more light on the computer stuff down here. So the cam link down here, again, that's this guy right here. Um, so I have two of those, obviously, one for the main camera and then one that captures um, for the Zoom calls. So um, the audio comes out of the MacBook, goes into the mixer here, and then um, so then my my audio levels here I don't know if you guys can see it really well um, but you see where my mouse is kind of moving here that's showing the audio levels there so it now since it's running through the mixer when Jake is on as well the audio will have that right there so you can see your audio levels right there through OBS so again it's a pretty basic setup um, but it's very good um, and you want to make sure again that you have good sound good quality sound first and foremost um, probably one of the most important things if you're doing video blogging and streaming so um, if you guys give me a second I'm gonna flip on uh, I'm, I'm doing this whole video in one take I'm not too worried about it it's just a very laid-back uh, video so um, if you bear with me here I'm gonna set this down for a second and then I'm gonna flip on the lights and actually what I'll do is I'll turn on the main camera I got the main camera on I'm gonna turn on the lights and show you guys the difference and what lighting does for a camera. So hold on one second, okay? <clears throat> That's one. That's two. Already you can see a major difference um, with the lighting. And then let me get the third one. And that's three. <clears throat> all right so i got the three lights up um as you guys can tell normally so normally i have um this shot zoomed in um i don't normally go so this is a wide angle lens on the sony um a5100 um here i can show you guys that again it's gonna be a little bit brighter every time i get up here now because i have all the lighting on but the lens itself is a wide angle lens on that camera so then that gives you kind of this cool um, look it's more of a cinematic type look um, from your thing so that you're not going to get this shot too much from um, let me fix this as well here um, you're not going to get this shot too much from a um, camera that is not a wide angle lens or, or like a, a webcam that's you know you're just not going to get it um, normally I zoom it in so here let me zoom it in for you guys to kind of show you what that looks like
So when I'm doing the show, I'm zoomed in like this. Um, normally this, again, this lamp is up more. So let me put that up, but I'll show you, that'll give you the full shot of what it looks like when I'm doing the show. There we go. So now the hair lamp is up. So the hair light gives kind of a reflection off the top of your head. And again, it helps create a depth of field um, when you're on camera. Um, normally I turn off my um, lights and stuff um, around the house or whatnot, but I still have them on right now. Um, but um, so that's what that looks like. And now that I have the lighting on, I can go with the top view camera. And as you can see, I'm very well lit from the top view camera as well. So again, different camera angles, um, different things just helps kind of, you know, change things up and give people a perspective on what's going on. Um, with the Sony A5100, so this guy right up here again, with that guy, um, it does have an autofocus. I don't like it um, as much. Um, I prefer the manual focus on it. I think, um, so what I'll do is I'll just set up the focus beforehand and just use, you know, that. And so I'm just focused in already. Um, it's cool because it has the little, here, I'll show you guys, it has this screen right here so I can actually look at it. Um, that helps. I have a big problem, um, when I'm doing the show, um, where I, I don't look at the camera a lot. So what I can do then is like, I, I tend to like look at my monitor all the time for some reason. So I, I got, I try to get better about looking up at the camera itself, um, instead of the monitor. And, you know, instead of just looking at an empty lens, I can actually look at that LCD screen on the back and see myself and see what I'm doing and whatnot, which I think helps with the show. Um, it's not that I love looking at myself. It's just, I think that's, you know, helpful, you know, when you're doing a show. So, um, <clears throat> so this is what it looks like with lighting. So I'm going to zoom it out again here. Hold on one second. So I zoomed it out. Um, and you want to have a space. So if, as you guys can kind of see, I got curtains up here. Um, I don't know how well you can see them. Let me, I'll drop the hair lamp down a little bit and get some light on it so that you can see a little bit more. So I have curtains. I don't have a room that I can dedicate for an office. So I just have these curtains that I put up. You can even see like here and here where my can lights are showing through from my regular room lighting. Um, so I have the curtains and let me switch over to the behind the scene cam and you guys can see like they're mounted on the ceiling up there and over there and across up there. So um, it's just a, a basic curtain setup and it just gives you, you know, a basic uh, room to work with. Um, you want to have just, you know, some kind of background of some kind. A lot of YouTubers and a lot of um, video bloggers and or streamers, they use, you know, shelving behind them. You just want to have something. So the good thing about my background is when I have my light set up correctly. So let me put that back up. So I got the hair light up and then when I zoom in like so. You can barely even see the background anymore. So it just kind of blends in with everything else. And I, I like that um, look. So I don't have any cool shelving or anything behind me to show off. So instead, I just kind of have a background that just kind of blends in seamlessly and you don't even see it, which I think is great. Um, and that works. You just want to have some kind of basic background, nothing fancy. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but you don't want to have like your whole living room showing. So like, there's my whole living room behind me. You know, you don't want that. So you don't want to have your whole living room showing. You just want to have a basic background that you have behind you. So that's what the, uh, the curtains are for. So, all right, we've gone over audio a little bit. Um, we've gone over some of the video. Um, 
I've shown you the audio mixer. Um, I also, um, as you guys can tell, I have the headphones on. Um, I like to be able to hear myself, so I definitely have them. Um, there's a phone out, a headphone out on the mixer itself, which uh, I show you guys that. So the headphone out is up here, and that runs down to this guy. This is a a four channel um, uh, amplifier, a little basic amplifier. So if I have like somebody in my quote studio, <laughs> um, I can also have them and get them a set of headphones as well. Um, so multiple headphones. It, um, the headphones are also great because um, when I do the Zoom calls, obviously I patch it through the mixer. So I got them on the headphones already. It, it's the clean sound coming straight through what you guys are hearing with the zoom call is what I'm hearing through the headphones so um, I just like again I like to be able to hear myself a little bit and that's where the headphones come into play so that's why I'm always wearing headphones because I could just hear myself a little bit better plus I'm hearing the audio coming out of the mixer so a lot of times you can catch audio issues not all the time because sometimes the issues are post but for the most part you catch a lot of audio issues um, like if I accidentally if I accidentally shut off my microphone, um, I would know that I'm not getting audio. So simple little thing. And a lot of YouTubers have problems with that, especially live streamers. They're talking and headphones. And what I just said is they'd be talking and their mic would be muted and you can't even hear what they're saying. And they don't know that because they're not wearing headphones. So it's just, it eliminates a simple little problem here as I'm trying to like get this set back up here. Always fumbling with the mic, always. Um, that is of course um, on a cheap little, I, like really a cheap little connector here. Um, and this and here, let me do it this way maybe. So a little, it's just a little basic arm goes right to the mic. So uh, basic mic arm or whatever that they call it. Here's a more out view of that. So you can see, so it comes right off the desk. There you go, connect it to the mic. Pretty simple. So um, anyway, so that's why I wear the headphones because I want to make sure that I can keep tabs on my audio and make sure it sounds good. So we've gone through audio. We've gone through video. Let's go through some of the other stuff going on here. So let me drop this lamp back down here and I'm going to shine it over here on my computer and whatnot so I can show you guys what's going on there. So um, the computer. It's a little Dell tower. Um, you don't have to have much if you're just using the computer to stream. Now, if you're gaming and streaming at the same time, um, you either want to do one of two things. You either want to have a boss ass computer with a huge high end graphics card and a huge high end GPU and tons of RAM, or you want to have two computers. I recommend doing two computers and then just capturing from one to the other because your streaming will be so much smoother and then your other computer is strictly running the game and you're not going to overload a computer. Even great computers can get overloaded if you're streaming and gaming at the same time on one PC. Um, <clears throat> now, I am i don't do gaming streaming, but I do do video blogging and so because of that, I don't need much. This guy will do. So this is a Dell Optiplex 9020. Um, it has an Intel Core i7, um, and it's got like 32 gigs of RAM. Um, the graphics card is integrated, although I did um, recently purchase a new graphics card that I will be installing. Um, but the graphics card that I got isn't like a super huge boss-ass graphics card. It doesn't, for streaming, it doesn't have to be that much. Um, this is a very affordable setup. Um, now, you know... You can get an Optiplex 9020 for pretty cheap, but with the amount of RAM that I have, um, it's going to cost you a little bit more. And I made sure I went with the i7 instead of the i5. Um, you know, obviously an i7 or an i9 are even better. Um, if you can get, you know, some of the better processors, obviously go with that. But if you're on a budget like I was, you know, you, you're on a budget. So that's what I got. Um, 
everything runs into this. Um, so like down here, there's four USBs. They're all taken. There's a bunch on back. I even have a USB hub right here that I have things plugged into. In fact, the camera that you're watching right now is this cord <laughs> coming off that USB hub. Um, this is another capture card that I don't recommend getting. It's a piece of shit. So don't worry about it. But I, I used to use that for um, some of the Zoom call stuff and or if I wanted to do some gaming streaming, which I don't do a lot of. Um, <clears throat> so that's computer. Um, again, Dell Optiplex 9020. Um, it's a Core i7 processor, 32 gigs of RAM. Um, and then, um, the again, I got a graphics card coming soon, so I will be updating that. So my video should actually look even better because it'll process better once I get the new graphics card. Um, but you don't need it. I mean, look, my video still looks pretty damn good. Um, <clears throat> now, I do, I capture at 1080p 60 frames, but I record and broadcast at 720 60 frames per second. So, um, and I do all of that through a program called OBS, which I talked about. Now, OBS, right now, I have, I have OBS Streamlabs specifically. I have regular OBS as well. OBS is a free broadcast program. Um, that you can get doesn't cost anything and it's very powerful especially for being free um, I got the Streamlabs version because um, I subscribe to being a Streamlabs Prime member so that I can broadcast to three different platforms at once so when I do a stream I'm broadcasting to Twitch I'm broadcasting to Facebook Live and I'm broadcasting to YouTube all at the same time um, when I do that it also gives me feedback on people who are following streams and or tipping and or commenting and whatnot. So let me show you guys kind of what that looks like here. <clears throat> and it's going to be a little blurry. Um, if I do a screen capture, it just like multiplies the screen like a billion times. So I'm going to try to just kind of show you guys here with the, the camera instead. Um, so normally on the right here, the right side it's offline right now but this is where all of the live comments will happen so if you guys comment when I'm doing a live stream whether it's Facebook YouTube or Twitch all the comments will show up here um, here these are where the tip comments show up and or if somebody has followed or shared or whatnot it all shows up here so all of the tip comments and follows and whatnot um, subscribes everything all here um, <clears throat> down here are my scenes so right now I'm on what I call the behind the scenes camera and then if you look down here these are this is the performance of the computer right now so it's running um, using 17% of the CPU um, at 60 frames per second recording so when I switch so as soon as I switch a screen so this is main so when I click that that's gonna get you the main camera um, so then I got top view, that's this one here, um, and then, like, there are other things, too, so, like, when I first start my videos, um, typically I'm checking on them to make sure that they've gone, you know, let me get this water out of the way, I'm checking on them to make sure they've gone live and make sure the streams are going, so there's usually, you probably have noticed in the beginning of my videos, there's, like, a minute on there where, um, nothing's happening, so I created this little wait oh and the reason for that is you know again it's just something kind of silly or funny or whatever to pass the time while i'm checking to make sure the streams are live and going so uh let's see what else we got um here so these are the things that I'm using right now in this scene. So this scene is called behind the scenes and because um, it's the behind the scenes camera. And this is the mixer, which is here. You can see the audio levels of the mixer. And then this is the camera here and the camera settings. If I click on this, the camera settings pop up there. So now we got all the camera settings and it tells you what they're doing. So again, um, the resolution here um, now this camera only does seven, um, seven, um, uh, what is it? 780. Yeah. So, and then, um, uh, I just set it to highest frames per second. This camera only does 30. Um, I typically don't use this camera a lot though. So <clears throat> now the other two cameras, again, this one here, the Sony a 5100, um, 
that one does 1080 60 and then this guy right here the other logitech also does 1080 60 and i i put a, a little lens on it as you can see there that's a wide angle lens um similar to this just a smaller looking one so um yeah so um there's a lot of cool stuff you can do um with obs um but when you're first starting out just do the basics um you know you want to you want to make this as easy for you as possible. So start with a good solid foundation and then build from there. I mean, right now, like you can see my overlay here and I can just take that off and there I am. And then with the overlay, it's got all the information on it. So my first overlay was terrible, but you know, I, I started it and I did it. And then as I went, I keep changing it. So recently I added the little nameplate. Um, I changed the nameplate, the movie idiot nameplate on there. Um, recently and that looks much cleaner you know I just keep tweaking and adjusting and that's all you do um, <clears throat> all of these things are bells and whistles you know like like this guy you know make sure you subscribe follow click the link share all that fun stuff right that's that's a bell and whistle it's it's not necessary but it's cool right but without great content um, in your show and what you're trying to do it's pointless so don't worry so much about the bells and whistles of everything. Um, worry about creating a show with great content, um, creating a show that people are going to like. Um, here, let me get this hair lamp back up. Sorry. There we go. Um, worry about your content and creating a show that people are going to like and enjoy. Um, organize that. So every time I do a show, I go into it very organized. Um, I already know what my main topics are going to be, what order I want to do them, which one of the five main topics that I'm doing is the main topic of the video. So the biggest news. Never do the biggest news first. Always kind of, you know, do that later. Um, if I'm doing, you know, a show with Jake and I have him on, um, you know, I, I kind of make sure that I get all the stuff set up with him beforehand so that it, it sounds good, it looks good, or as good as it can. Um, that input coming off this MacBook is 1080p, um, um, 60 frames per second. Now, just because you're patching someone in on Zoom or Skype at 108060 doesn't necessarily mean that their camera is 108060. So like Jake's camera, I think it's just a basic little webcam, you know, and um, he's not rolling at 108060. So, you know, you have to understand that and you do your best to make it look as good as you can. But again, the content and what you're doing is more important than that. Make sure you have good content. Make sure you're organized in what you're doing. Make sure you know what you're saying. Um, that's the biggest things. And make sure you sound good. Again, sound, super important. Um, you know, one of the things that are good to work on are transitions when you're moving from topic to topic or whatever. You know, you want to make sure you have that. You know, I, I have five main topics that I do typically. And so, you know, I'll be talking, okay, this is main topic number one, blah, 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 main topic number one. Okay, um, what do you guys think about main topic number one? Let me know in the comments. And we're going to move on to main topic number two. And when I say that, I pause and then start main topic number two. Um, that's for a couple of reasons. Um, one, because that way everybody who's watching knows that we're switching from one topic to the next. The other is I cut the videos and release some of the topics separately and post them separately on Facebook and YouTube. So when I do that, I need to know where I can cut them off. So I give myself pauses so that I can cut those and then sent them out later because you know the shows are roughly anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour long so I want to make sure that I have um you know a, a, a good cut point so that I can make you know a little five minute video and people can just watch the little five minute video of some of the main topics uh, if they want to see the biggest main topic they got to watch the show but otherwise some of the other main topics I just put out to you know dredge up traffic and 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 make it so you guys don't have to plow through the entire show to see some of the topics that are out there. So um, just again, just and that's organization and how you want to run your channel, how you want to run your brand, how you want to run all of this. You know, you have to figure all that out. And I'm still learning. I mean, I've been doing this. Um, I started the channel a year ago, but I really have committed to it in the last six months. So about six months now, every week, practically. 
um, I, I put out a movie idiot show and then, you know, I do some special videos on top of that, whether it's rankings or whether it's, you know, spoiler discussions or whatever. <clears throat> and the biggest thing is just consistency, staying on top of that and patience. One of the biggest things that any blogger, YouTuber, vlogger, whatever will tell you is if you are doing this to be famous or make a ton of money, you're in it for the wrong reasons and you will fail and you will get frustrated really fast. You have to be patient. I've been doing this again regularly for six months. Um, I've had the channel for a year and on YouTube I have 36 whole subscribers. That's nothing. You know, some some guys have 300,000. Even some lower level people have like 1,000 plus. You can't even monetize until you get to 1,000. So right now I can't even make any money through YouTube. Even though I have a couple of videos that have like 2,000 views. Doesn't matter because I don't have 1,000 subscribers, which is fine. I'm not doing this for that. I'm doing it because I like talking movies. I like talking TV shows. I like the interaction with the few people that I get that do watch. And I think that's fun and important. And I just figure it's going to grow. Just patience. That's the big thing. Do something you love. Make the stream something you love. And be patient. And don't get frustrated because you don't have a lot of viewers. Um, or a lot of subscribers. You know, on, on Facebook, I think I have 45 people that follow the Movie Idiot channel. On Twitch, I have a whole nine followers. Who cares? It's just for fun. It doesn't matter. And yes, I do have things like the tip link. You know, you guys see it up here and I talk about it. Streamlabs.com slash movie idiot. Yeah. And if people want to comment, and some do. I have some regular people who do comment. Um, it's about two to three people. That's it. But they're supporting the show. They like it and they comment and support. And that's great. But never expect that. Don't get mad at people if they're not using the tip link. If people want to use the tip link, great. Awesome. Thank you for supporting the show. Thank you. But if they're not, so what? It's okay. Because you're doing this for fun. Remember that. You're doing the show for fun because you enjoy it. And if you're doing it for any other reason, get out. Get out now. Because you're going to fail. It, it, that's the biggest thing. And I haven't succeeded, right? Like, if you're talking monetary and, you know, followers and everything else, I've, I'm, I'm nobody. I'm nothing. I Again, 36 whole subscribers on YouTube. But I have succeeded because I put out a show every week that I enjoy doing and that I like and that I can talk about the things that I love, movies and TV and entertainment. So in that case, I've succeeded. I've created a show, a pretty decent production show. It's not great. It's not the top. I'm still learning a lot of things, but all in all, it's pretty decent. Um, that's the big thing, just patience. And then later you can add all the bells and whistles. Like I'm working on doing this right now. So like when people... Um, oh, I don't have it on here, do I? Yeah, you can't see it. Um, hold on. Let me see. I can maybe add this really quick. Let me, let me see if I can add it. Let's do the alert box. So I've been working on this alert box thing and I can't, I can't get it the way I want it. Um, hold on here, dude. We'll just add it and boom. And we'll just say done. I, I'm going to take this off shortly, but here and and I'm doing this live as I record this right now so well not live but you know I'm doing it as I record it which is again shows how powerful OBS is so now here I'll test this just to show you so one of the things I'm working on is this you know if somebody donates you know there we go John donated $49 you know now I don't like it be yet because I can't get it to work the way I want so uh, here I'm gonna stop testing that now so we're going to turn off the alert box. I'm going to get rid of that. But anyway, I can't, as you can tell, I can't get it to work the way I want it to yet. Um, I change a lot of the things. It just hasn't worked. But it's a new function through Streamlabs that they're doing, and they haven't perfected it yet. So when it gets perfected, I'm going to have that. And I think it's a cool little thing to have, you know. Um, but you can always add those bells and whistles later. But all of those bells and whistles will not matter. You know, having stuff like this which is cool but doesn't matter if you don't have good content and if you're not putting on a good show and that's the big thing good content organization plan your show out be adaptable 
um, whether I'm recording or whether I'm doing live, I don't do takes. I don't, I don't piece together my videos. I, I do every video like this one I'm doing right now. I'm doing it as if I'm doing a live stream. Most of the videos I do are live streams. Um, I, I just feel like live streams are better in my opinion. I just like them. Um, so that's how I feel about them. So anyway, um, but I'm adaptable. So if things go wrong or whatever, like, oh, guys, whoops, my bad, you know, and just roll with it. Instead of getting frustrated, just roll with it. People will understand. Mistakes happen. Audio mistakes happen. Video mistakes happen. Streaming mistakes happen. God, I can't tell you how many times, for whatever reason, on that day, my internet connection sucks and my stream is choppy as shit. Or, you know, whatever. And Or I changed a setting and forgot to change it back and my stream or recording is choppy as shit. I mean, you just have to work with that. And it's patience. And it's being adaptable. And again, if you're not doing this for the love of it, you're going to struggle mightily. So I think that's pretty much everything I got going on. Um, so kind of to close it all out, again... In order to start a stream, in order to start a channel, um, you know, kind of figure out what you want your brand to be, what you're looking to do. Make sure you're doing it for fun. Um, you don't have to invest. Now, look, if you have a ton of money, that's great. Go buy yourself a Sony A7400 or three of them, you know. Um, you know, you can get cool Elgato, um, like, little consoles where I forget what they call them but they're like little consoles where you could just press the buttons and it'll switch scenes instead of having to use your mouse you know like there's a lot of cool shit you can get to make streams even better you can get microphones 10 times more expensive than this sure condenser microphone um you know they, they have sennheiser ones that are thousands of dollars the the pro ones you can go for that but you don't need to just do your homework a little bit figure out stuff that sounds really good looks really good um, but you can find budgets. Again, like I said, the Sony A5100 is a much cheaper camera choice. Yeah, it's <clears throat> not streaming in 4K, but so what? Most people can't even stream 4K through a lot of their stuff. You know, most of the time when people are watching your videos on YouTube or Facebook or whatever, it's 720 um, or um, 1080. That's that's literally it, usually. So going at 720, 60 frames or 1080, 60 frames is honestly good enough. Um, since most people aren't going to be streaming what you're doing in 4K anyway. Down the road, yeah, but we're a good couple of years away from that probably. So, you know, it it, it still looks good. Make sure it looks good. Make sure it's visible. Make sure it's not pixelated, you know, all that stuff. But other than that, you don't have to really, you know, stress yourself out over it. So um, have a plan, you know, um, Get what you can afford and go from there. And again, put together a good show, a good product. And the rest of it will take care of itself. And eventually, maybe you will start getting a lot of followers and tips and monetization. And then you can afford to upgrade shit, you know? And that's and if you don't, be okay with that. Remember, this is supposed to be for fun. You're supposed to enjoy this. So make sure you do. Um, and that's the biggest thing. So I think that's it. Um... I hope you guys, you know, found this video interesting. Again, just kind of a basic look at my setup and how to get started in video blogging um, and or streaming. Um, and yeah, that's all I got today, guys. Um, don't forget to check out the regular Movie Idiot Show Fridays at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And then uh, as long as the Mandalorian's on, we're doing um, Mando open spoiler discussions. Those nights vary, but we're going to try to do Friday nights as much as possible um, with that. But that could vary from day to day. So bear with me on that. Um, that being said, uh, thank you guys for checking out the video. Uh, again, don't forget to, of course, subscribe, like, follow, share, ring the dingy bell, and all that fun stuff. And I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing week. And I will catch you all later. Peace.